Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to WatchYouWant.com. Thanks for logging on. Today, we find ourselves in the presence of a true high horology all-timer. This is the Patek Philippe Calatrava Reference 5196G in white gold, 37 millimeter case, arguably the definitive Patek Philippe reference. More than the grand complications, more than the watches that are setting eye-popping records on the auction circuits, more than the often gaudy gem set Basel World novelties destined for emerging markets. The classic Calatrava is Patek Philippe. So much of it is intertwined with the greatest moments in modern Patek history, the legacy of the controlling Stern family that purchased Patek during the Depression and has built it into the empire and the icon that it is today. So much of that is tied up in the Calatrava and there is no more emblematic modern Calatrava reference than the 5196. So let's go a little deeper into what that relationship is between the original Calatravas and this 5196G. Well, here's the story of Patek Philippe. In 1932, the company was essentially bankrupt. Its largest supplier of parts, well, it was actually split between two competing firms. One was then Lecoultre, which was owned by Jacques-David Lecoultre, third generation owner of the company founded by Antoine and the uh, patriarch of the company that would become modern day Jeger Lecoultre, a major supplier of components and movements, and the dial makers to Patek Philippe, the Stern family. Well, there was a essentially a bidding war and a battle for control of Patek Philippe. And in the end, it actually ended amicably to the point that Patek was able to build Lecoultre's Reverso under license later on. But the immediate aftermath was that the Stearns and their dial factory wound up owning the bankrupt Patek Philippe and they needed a comeback watch. The bottom line was Young Henri Stern, then 21 years old, was charged with designing the comeback watch, and the watch he drew looked exactly like this 5196G. All of the hallmarks of this model were present in that first reference 96. The beautifully tapered integrated lugs, the way they flow out of the case flanks, into and out of in one seamless continuity from tip to tip, the stick indexes, the sub-seconds at 6 o'clock, the gorgeous Dauphine hands, the applied white gold indexes themselves, everything about it exuded quality, and of course, the guardless crown on the flank. Everything about it exuded quality, timeless proportions. It was emblematic not just of Patek Philippe's underlying values, conservative practicality and refinement, but also of its era, the Art Deco period, and it's remained an icon to this day. Now that first model, the 96, was a classic, but at 31 millimeters, it's a little bit small by the standards of modern tastes. Take what's good, bring it up to date. That's what Patek Philippe does well. Incremental refinement, incremental change. So this is a 37 millimeter case. And although the Calatrava name started its comeback more as a collector nickname for older Patek watches during the 1980s, it wasn't until 2004 that we saw this definitive reincarnation of the famed 96 break into the catalog and it was celebrated then and continues to be feted by paddock collectors as the one that they simply got right. Now let's talk a little bit about how this watch wears on the wrist. This is what dress watches are all about. Form-fitting elegance and they don't fit any more tightly or cleanly or comfortably than this 5196G. You could see that this thing disappears under a dress cuff. If you want to dress it up and go with French cuffs, just as well. This watch features a movement that is only 2.55 millimeters thick, and the whole watch itself is only about seven millimeters thick. So it really just disappears, despite being rendered in a beautiful 18 karat, what's known as gray gold, that is homogenous straight through. If you scratch it, it doesn't show yellow or milky yellow underneath. Despite being built in gold, it doesn't have any offensive weighting to it at all. Just a little bit of a premium pull from that precious metal and nothing more. Nothing that would be considered obtrusive or unpleasant. Now for reference, my wrist is about six inches and a third or 16 centimeters for our friends in the metric regions. And you can see that this fits completely natural. And because dress watches should be discreet, they should be refined, they should be somewhat understated. Even on a larger wrist, this watch appears absolutely at home. This is how a classic Geneva dress watch looks and wears. And if you want one, go with the best. This 5196 is the definitive Patek Philippe. Let's talk a little bit more about that movement that I referenced. At 2.55 millimeters thick, the Patek Philippe Caliber 215 PS has a great tradition dating back to the 1970s 
when it was created as an ultra-thin manual winding caliber for a new generation of Patek Philippe dress references. Now it endures to this day, it features a 28.8 vibration per hour rate, so it has all the modern standards, including Patek's signature free-sprung Gyromax balance. Now what this allows is, in tandem with its ultra-thin status, it also has tremendous accuracy and capacity for precise adjustment because the Gyromax, first developed in the 1940s, essentially insulates the watches from the shock that can disrupt the rate or permanently change the timing of conventional manual and automatic wind calibers. That's a Patek standard that endures into the current lineup to this day. It's a classic, but at the same time it remains incredibly robust and an industry point of reference in mechanical engineering. In terms of finishing, this is a movement with the classic Geneva hallmark. The Poinçon de Genève, dating back to 1886, is codified in the laws of the city and canton of Geneva in Switzerland. And by the standards actually put down in those laws, public inspectors take a look at every movement and they give it the imprimatur of the city, the famed Geneva stamp, hallmark, or Poinçon, when it meets appropriate finishing standards. Now, Patek Philippe was once the greatest um, practitioner, I would say, of that standard of watch finish. They went off that standard in 2009 in July and started applying the Patek Philippe seal. I believe that their finishing is still among the best, if not the best in the industry, but still it's kind of like me filling out my own report card. I love the tradition of the Poinçon de Genève and I love the fact that this definitive historic Patek Philippe reference features that classic Geneva hallmark on its caliber 215 movement. There's a romance about it that just appeals to me at heart. Watches like this, luxury watches, are all about emotion, and I consider that to be a major factor in this watch's appeal. Now this watch, emblematic of the reference that helped pull Patek out of the Great Depression, one with just inextricable ties to that Stern family legacy, and perhaps the most highly regarded and universally loved Patek Philippe reference of all time, certainly in the modern catalog, is available from WatchYouWant.com with full factory boxes, papers, documents of provenance, and all accessories. The way to buy a Patek Philippe is complete. This one, which presents as new, wears beautifully, looks as good as it wears, can be seen on our website, watchyouwant.com, with its full factory accessory set. Own the legend, wear the legend. If you love Patek Philippe and you love the Calatrava, look no further. This 5196G is the watch you want.